new live stream is attracting thousands of eyes from all around the world, and it's allowing people to get a glimpse of the unique ways of a special bird of prey that calls San Diego home. In this Earth 8 report, News 8's Netta Irampour shows us how the osprey are now thriving for all to see. <laughs> <laughs> Meet Edna. She's the loud one because apparently she's hungry. Her partner Ozzy has food, but in Osprey style, he's eating first. He is the one who went hunting for this fish. He grabbed it from the water off La Jolla shores and is now sitting on this old research instrument on the Scripps Pier, a normal perch for him to eat. Meanwhile, Edna hasn't stopped squawking, and local environmentalists haven't stopped watching. <laughs> That's awesome. And this is no longer only a sight to see for those who work on the Scripps Pier. Now people around the world can check out the live stream of this osprey can. See there, and see they there. are. Keep looking at the, her. the view at the camera uh, has turned out to be really quite spectacular as well with the ocean and the surfers in the background. The interest in Edna and Ozzy is growing in just the past few weeks since the camera went live. But it's really encouraging to see people get so excited about uh, about these birds and about sort of the natural environment. People can watch their interactions at places like White Sands. Since this cam opened, we've all been glued. All of us that were in this project together, we are on there emailing each other with where the egg is, what's happened to this chick, where that one is. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Look at that wingspan. Do you believe that? This is my daughter Roya captivated by the new display at the Birch Aquarium. It's nature. We need something to laugh at, something to enjoy, something to see growing, just just some hope, and those are hope. Something that's been a few years in the making. Scripps Pier manager Christian McDonald has watched Osprey fly around since he started working here. They're not afraid of us. They use the, bur the pier to, to hunt for, for fish. It's a great vantage point. So Christian McDonald and Bev Grant and other oh, yeah, great no, minds I, at I, the Scripps I, Institution <laughs> of Oceanography decided to make a nest for them, putting sticks in a four by four platform complete with a boom. We had architects out here, we had the shop uh, construction company here who all did this in stainless steel. We did the research on the dimensions, like how big it should be, how tall it should be. So they really thought of everything to make sure these birds are in a safe, happy home. In fact, if they know severe weather is coming, maybe strong onshore winds, they can bring that nest closer to the pier and it would be protected by this building. And Surfline donated the high quality camera. Now the goal here is to keep watching these birds thrive. That wasn't always the case. Back in the 60s and 70s, the dumping of the pesticide DDT into the Pacific Ocean put many birds in danger. The bald eagle, brown pelican, peregrine falcon, and osprey. Their eggs became too thin and chicks stopped hatching. And they would crack when the mother went to nest on it. You might think Bev is a scientist too, but she's actually a retired English teacher. She taught for 28 years. In fact, here are some images of her with her students from Torrey Pines High School, even traveling overseas with them on school trips. Her love for birds and all animals really ramped up though when she went on a trip to Antarctica. And so you become interested in animals as you travel in nature's wonders. She had met Art Cooley, the co-founder of the Environmental Defense Fund, and that's really what ended the DDT dumping, a main reason you'll now notice more osprey gliding and diving along the California coast. It's enheartening, I think especially in a, a world that's just gone through the pandemic, to see something positive, something that's being nurtured, something that's being cared for. As birds of a feather, osprey mate for life. So perhaps Ozzy and Edna will start their family here for all to see, if Ozzy ever decides to share his lunch. At the Scripps Pier for Earth 8, I'm Netta Iranpour.